everyone welcome back to my channel so today I want to do um, less of a Bible study video and more of just like a talk with me encouragement video um, from my own personal experiences like just kind of how I learned to um, be bold in my faith and not really worry about what anybody else says and uh, kind of just um, still continue to just love God and share the love of God with everyone um, even though everyone else might not agree and might have a lot of negative things to say uh, so yeah if you haven't done so already then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get right to it so if you're struggling with sharing your faith uh, I promise you promise you promise you <laughs> you are not alone like I said a lot of people just go through this right it's hard to share your faith Bible told us that um, you know that we would be persecuted um, or that others were persecuted for sharing the love of Jesus um, but that's okay <laughs> that's okay because we are still living in his glory um, and we should be excited about it right so a couple of tips I feel like everyone in the world is looking at me right now even though there's no one looking at me see even I struggle <laughs> with sharing my faith um, of course I do right um, just because I record videos um, and post them and I post about write blog posts about um, how great Jesus is doesn't mean that I don't struggle with sharing my faith a lot of times when I am recording videos I am very nervous like of my surroundings like who's around me who's listening um, and I get timid right so just because I'm on screen <laughs> doesn't mean that I don't also um, struggle with the same fears every day but that's okay because I love Jesus and I love talking about him and how great he is um, and how much he does for us so I'm gonna keep on sharing if you struggle with sharing your faith uh, there are a few things I just want to say um, that have helped me and hopefully they will help you so number one is definitely surround yourselves with other like-minded Christians not saying that all your friends should be Christian. We definitely don't want to only pick our friends based on their faith. The people who need Jesus the most and need to hear about him the most are the ones who don't know him yet, right? So definitely don't like push away people just because they're not Christians. Don't um, only decide your friends based on if they believe or not. Um, but if you feel like it is hard to share your faith, then it could be because you don't have a lot of other Christians around you and you feel like no one's gonna understand. Definitely try to find some other people to um, connect with. I can guarantee you that other people want to connect with you. A good way to do this is by serving in your church. So in my church, I serve in Next Steps where I get to um, talk with people about how they found the church and then show them like how they can become a member of the church and uh, find a place to serve and get really connected. Um, so I get to text people every week and just like talk to them about what they thought of the service and answer any questions um so really enjoy doing that i'm actually starting uh serving in a new way this weekend by um selling like church merch <laughs> such a weird thing to say um but by selling like t-shirts and um, water bottles and just stuff with our church name um in the main lobby and again in that service area i'll get to just talk with people and greet people um and connect and so wherever you serve um, whether it's other people who are members or other people who are just like attending service um, people coming for the first time you'll be able to talk and interact with a lot of people so number one if you are struggling with sharing your faith definitely surround yourself with people who know what you're going through and who also love Jesus it's a little easier just because you know that you're not alone so I would definitely say try to connect with people in the church whether that's through serving or just walking up and smiling at someone and talking to them and starting a conversation I know it can be a little scary <laughs> but remember we are all God's children we are brothers and sisters in Christ and you have no reason to fear um, making connections in church and making friends in church because you'll become more used to talking to people who share your faith about how great he is um, then it'll become more natural in the day-to-day -to, -day to just talk to um, random people like who you work with or other friends who don't believe or your family members um, about God and just everything that he's doing through you and for you <laughs> so yeah definitely definitely want to join up and connect and make friendships with people um, who share your faith and plus we were never called to go through this alone um, we are called to just make connections and hold each other accountable and encourage people and lift each other up so definitely want to have some like-minded fellow Christians um, at your side so another thing I want to talk about uh, if you're a little nervous about sharing your faith is maybe you want to share your faith but you're just not sure exactly how 
right? So at church, um, we refer to this as the on-ramp, right? How do you take a regular conversation and turn it into a God conversation? Um, so this is very hard, right? Because you don't want to necessarily throw your religion at people um, <laughs> and just seem like you're coming at them, just beating them with the Bible. <laughs> like You don't you know, necessarily want to do that. So how do we take this regular everyday conversation um, with whoever and take it from whatever we are talking about and talk about God, right? Um, how do we do that? For some people, it can be easy, right? Because they're just things that we hear when we're talking. We're just like, oh, wow, that reminded me of something that God did in my life. Um, but for other people, it's not so easy. But what I want to tell you um, is kind of just, I think once you understand that, um, Part of sharing your faith is just finding the on-ramp maybe it's a little easier to kind of look for it but for example if you're talking to someone about something they're struggling with then all you have to do is say oh wow you know I'm really sorry you're going through this I'm not saying that this will work for you um, but like here's what helped me get out of this situation or a similar situation or um, you know I was also going through it at one point in time and this little uh, man named Jesus <laughs> <laughs> help me get through it turning it into a God conversation doesn't have to be oh you're struggling well here's this Bible verse that applies perfectly to your life and that is going to come and save the day quoting scripture is great but you can just say to your friend like you know I know this may not work for you however this is what healed me right I was struggling I was um, feeling down about myself or about life or whatever situation I'm in and God came and I prayed to him and he helped me through it and so that's all you have to say right to just enter this conversation about God and maybe someone won't want to talk about it anymore they'll just say oh okay well that's not for me right um, but maybe they will be interested you know you never know just by saying like hey here's what works for me um, someone might be interested and they might ask you to um, share right um, anything about your faith I would definitely say that the like here's what works for me um, you know tactic is definitely a really good way to find an on-ramp um, but you really just have to listen to the conversation um, you know a lot of times especially like the more you get into your faith and the deeper you go and the more time you're spending with God then the more things that happen in your life you can like relate to that moment when you were with him or relate to that time you were reading his word and like something stuck out to you um, it definitely becomes easier that way you just have to get used to doing it, I guess. Um, maybe it won't be easy the first time, but as you continue just openly, you know, just share with people, it gets easier, right? Because you learn how to do it. I would definitely just encourage you to kind of just be an open book about your faith. You don't have to go um, scream it and throw it in everyone's face. But if someone asks a question, be willing to talk about it, right? Or if someone's talking about something that's going on in their life, um, be encouraged to talk about what's going on in your life and that's you know going to church or going to small group or you know you spend some free time reading his word like it's okay to talk about that right so yeah uh, stay encouraged I believe in you and you can find your on-ramp I promise so another thing I want to talk about that's um, much like uh, finding your on-ramp is just not knowing what to say right so say someone does ask you about your faith and you get tripped up because what do I say to them? <laughs> oh no, here's my moment. Someone wants to ask me about my church um, or God or like why I believe. <laughs> what do I say? Um, but I want you to know that this is so simple, right? Sharing your faith might not always be easy, but it is simple. All you have to do is talk about what God has done through you, right? What changes have you seen in your life because of him? How has he moved through you? How has he, you know, brought goodness to your life? If you've never shared your testimony with anyone before, um, it's really simple. So your testimony in its simplest, most basic form is where you were, what happened when you met God, and where you are now. That's all your testimony is, right? It's where I was, and then what happened when I met God, and now where I am because of it. That's all it is, right? That's all it is to sharing your testimony. Sometimes if you want to lay out the whole testimony, you can probably take up half an hour, an hour, like you could probably do that. But you can also do a 30 second testimony, right? This is where I was. I was going through this and it was hard. And then I started going to church. I met Jesus, hello. <laughs> and now I'm able to share and joy even through the midst of whatever craziness is going on in my life. 
that's your testimony. It looks different for each and every individual person, but everyone has one, right? If you're a Christian, you have a testimony of how you met Christ and what he's doing in your life. So if someone asks you a basic question and you don't know what to say, just share how joyful he makes you, um, how happy you are because of him, um, what he has done through your life, some miracles, some changes that you have seen some answered prayers that you have had i can't recall the first like real time i've shared my testimony um because of course you know i wasn't christian <laughs> ever right i grew up and I, I wasn't saved until i was 17 years old so everyone knew me in high school and stuff and i wasn't christian then all of a sudden i believe in jesus and everyone wants to know like why what happened what changed right so i got to share with people um how i started in church and how much i like it um but not necessarily like walking through my testimony my first time sharing like my whole faith right like leave nothing out talking about all the battles in my life that i really really struggle with that really traumatized me um as a child and like not knowing um what to do, right? Um, when we face these life situations. I didn't leave any of those parts out <laughs> this time. I just shared this testimony for like the first time, at least the most authentic like story. It was like three weeks ago. You know, this is new to me every day. So I was up in the Next Steps room. Um, like I've told you before, this is the process where we uh, walk people through like what the church believes what the Bible believes um, and help them become a member and find a place to serve So we were in the next steps room and the next steps leader um, Had asked me to kind of just share my testimony, right? Plain and simple. I don't think he was expecting <laughs> it to go in the path that it went because he didn't know um, My demons that I struggle with right he didn't know those things and I walked to the front of the room and I felt God like tugging on my heart, right? Like just tugging on my heart. Like Mary, hello, Mary. Um, there's someone I put in this room. I want them to hear your story. And I want you to be able to share your story. So <laughs> Mary, share your story. It, like that's how it was for me. Like I just felt this tugging, right? Like girl, you know you have a story to share. Go up there and share that story. I don't care if there's only seven people in the room. You're sharing that story and I want you to share it in full detail. Don't leave any of your emotions out. Um, just be real and be raw and be authentic and uh, share with the room what I did through you. So I went, walked up to the front of the room and I told my boyfriend, John, John's my boyfriend, <laughs> just be prepared because I was about to bawl my eyes out. Like it was going to be a sob fest. I already knew this. So I walked to the front of the room and I sit down in a chair and I just started crying. Legit started crying like I was like hi my name is Mary sob like <laughs> immediately um but I just stood right back up I said you know what I'm not gonna sit because if I sit I'm just gonna keep crying so I'm gonna stand but I cried anyways um I just stood up and tears ran down my face the entire time I talked about my childhood you know some things that um happened that maybe I'll share later on this channel but I don't know um, we'll see talked about you know just things that like families go through um, that you know happens right life happens um, and I got to talk about that and got to talk about being a confused um, young girl not knowing why things were happening to me and then hello after talking about you know me not understanding what was going on in my life here comes Jesus <laughs> the light of my world so I got to share that with people I got to share that I was standing in front of the room bawling my eyes out weeping 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 about whatever you know things happen to me um but then i got to share this light and i just got to continue to share all the great things that jesus has done through me since i became a christian finding a church um being saved uh, finding a place to serve being baptized with my boyfriend and my sister i got to just share that right like here's what jesus did through me so with all that being said if you haven't ever shared your testimony with someone do it whether you do like the full sobbing emotional story like I finally did um, or just sharing like a little snippet of how much you've grown and changed and transformed because of him I promise you it can be so simple um, if people want to hear it then I really urge you to share it because you never know um, who your testimony might just affect and who your testimony might just bring to Jesus so please Never, ever, ever be afraid of sharing your testimony. It is yours. God gave it to you. He placed it on your heart for you to share. So go out and share it. <laughs>
I feel like the main reason why a lot of people can get scared about sharing their faith is, of course, they're worried about what everyone else is going to say. Um, but there's really no, like, tip for me to tell you, right? Because there's no tip. People are going to talk, right? You could have friends or old friends or anyone around you or family members who are going to talk about you negatively, right? And I can't, there's no other way for me to put that. It is what it is. You know, one time I was texting my boyfriend, I was really upset um, about like just things going on. Um, and like, you know, whatever people think of me or this and that. And my boyfriend texts me something. And of course I think it's so sweet because he's my boyfriend, so I'm a little biased. But I really, really enjoyed what he said. He was just like, babe, like you can't worry <laughs> about what everyone else is gonna say. Like you just can't, okay? Because at the end of the day, when it's all over, when it's all said and done, the one who matters most, and that's Jesus, up in heaven, sees everything. And he knows what's happening, and it's okay. So my air conditioner just kicked on, and it's a little noisy um, back there where I was recording. So I'm kind of just um, walking up uh, through my house, trying to find a place to talk to you guys. But yeah, basically what I was saying is that God sees you. He sees how much you love him and he sees everybody else. Sharing your faith, especially with people who you think might say negative things could be amazing because what happens if they're interested and you plant a seed and then another seed's planted and that person comes to Jesus, right? That's the main goal. Um, but if they don't, and if they do say negative things about you, you just, you can't worry about it because at the end of the day, the one who matters most sees everything. He sees that you love him, he sees that you're sharing his word, and he sees those who aren't. You can't really get hung up on what everyone else is gonna think or say. Um, at the end of the day, he matters most, and you just wanna keep living for his purpose and just keep on spreading the love of Jesus uh, as he has called us to do. So yeah, uh, just try to brush it off. I know it's hard, but um, the more you continue to share your faith, the easier it gets, I promise. Hopefully I didn't keep you for too long. If you haven't done so already, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I say this at the end of all my videos, but comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos, if you have any questions about my faith, about my church, about my life, whatever. Um, any questions you want me to answer, I will answer. If you want to share if any of these things helped you or share in the comments below uh, what has helped you share your faith, then please share those in the comments. But other than that, I am so thankful for talking to you and I can't wait to talk again soon.